lab 08 virtual memory allocation here since you are very familiar with the procedure of compiling running and uh, explaining this uh, code so you see the score is just 10 percent each one is a five percent you can always follow the comments inside the code here at the top side how to compile it and how to run it you need to uh, take screenshot about its output more importantly you need to open its uh, resource here to find the explanation and add explanation to your into your report without explanation half credits will be deducted for example here just five points without a your explanation 2.5 will be deducted so please uh, add explanation to all your screenshots the explanation you can f find on the reference here at the bottom here you see the reference how to compare it run it you follow these uh, instructions in the comments here on Windows you are asked to change this uh, made character to notepad.exe then compare it and run it line 36 here this line 36 right? you see this uh, mate dash calc this is a program used in Ubuntu since you are only required to do it on Windows you need to replace that one with notepad.exe then compare it and run it and uh, take screenshot about the output and add explanation so I will not uh, demonstrate these two programs anymore since you are all practice so many times so these are the task 1 and task 2 compare, run, expand the result now we will focus on the review questions as you also know in our test those uh, test questions are from these review questions so that's why we will focus on these uh, review questions and uh, more points are added to the review questions let's go through these questions one by one you can find the reference uh, solution for those questions here but without a uh, procedure you just type the final result you will get zero so please show the process how you get this result right? all these results are, are given and also for 3.2, 3.3 explanation are given Okay, now let's uh, start from um, your question one. In demanding page system, effective access time is directly proportional to the page forward rate as we discussed during the lecture. So if for those students who didn't attend the lecture, you may check the reference. If the page forward rate is 0 0.1, in other words, one access out of 10,000 or 1,000 causes a page fault. Find the slowdown of performance degradation percentage caused by page fault. And you are given an average page fault service time is 8 milliseconds and a memory access time is 200 nanoseconds. We need to find the two results. The first one, here actually we are just asked to find this uh, slowdown right? for the performance task declaration. But in order to find that one, we need to find the effective access time first. So for those students, if you don't know the concept, 
and actually will please attend the lecture because we explained all these concepts during the lecture or you can check those references again I would like to use a Python as an advanced calculator here for the effective access time it x1 minus the page for rate right you can say et equals or you can make it more readable the so page for rate pa for page for rate page for rate is uh, here page for rate is 0 0.1 percent which means it's 0 0.001 right And the memory access time here, memory access time is uh, 200 nanosecond. Now, how do you convert the unit to the same unit? We have milliseconds and nanoseconds. So let's use uh, nanoseconds. So the memory access time, MAT equals 200 nanoseconds. And uh, the average page fault service time is 8 milliseconds let's say it uh, APFST it's uh, 8 milliseconds now how do you convert milliseconds to nanoseconds you can use on any online converter it's uh, 8 times 10 to the 6 now 10 to the 6 you need double stop 10 to the 6 which means 1 milliseconds equals equals uh, 1000 thousand, one million uh, nanoseconds uh, 10 to the 6 then you can uh, put this uh, variable into this formula so the effective access time EAT equals uh, 1 minus page for the rate PFR times memory access time MAT plus page for the rate PFR times average uh, page for service time APFST press and type EAT now you get the result please pay attention the unit is nanoseconds so in your report you need to put the units because here in the calculator we cannot put the unit here otherwise we will get error so in your report you do need to add the unit nanosecond here now the performance degradation PD equals effective access time EAT minus memory access time MAT and divide by the memory access time MAT then you print out PD you see it's roughly 40 times slower then the memory access time. This, this is the uh, performance decoration. Because of this uh, page fault rate 0.1, now you can uh, check your solution against the reference answer. Right? We, we get the same thing we can convert the percentage like this so this is the first question and if we want to achieve for example a speed a effective access time close to 200 nanosecond we need to decrease the page for the rate for example if the effective extra time uh, but please uh, remember this uh, if 
factory access time, it cannot be better than this uh, mem memory access time because the, the page fault exists. If there is no page fault rate, no page fault, then we will get the effective access time the same as this uh, memory access time, which means no page fault, fault which means the page fault rate will be zero. Eh? Page fault rate will be zero. Here, one minus zero is one. One times memory access time is the memory access time. And page fault rate is zero, so this term is zero. But this page fault rate is more than zero. So that's why this eff effective access time cannot be uh, smaller than 200 nanoseconds or better. The smaller, the better, right? So now if, uh, suppose we want to achieve 300 nanoseconds and the effective access time, you are asked for the page fault rate, what it is. You can use this formula to find the result. So if the EAT suppose, if we want to achieve uh, effective access time as a 300 nanosecond, then you are asked to find the page fault rate. We can uh, rearrange this formula to find the page fault rate. So it would be, we can rearrange it here, but please pay attention. Uh, we don't have simple calculation here. If you want simple calculation, you can use uh, other software or install the simple calculation module into your Python. That will take some extra time. So let's just uh, rearrange the formula in uh, comments with a pound key means a comment. So EAT, we just uh, rewrite those uh, terms. One minus page fold rate, PFR times memory access time, MAT plus page fold rate times average average page for service time right, like this then we can uh, deduct from this uh, formula to get EAT equals MAT we just uh, expand this formula right? minus MAT times PFR plus P FR times APFST. Again, continue the deduction. Then this term, we can combine these two terms together. Right? These two terms together. So EAT will equals MAT, and we put this term in front of this term. We plus PFR times AP FST minus the MAT. Right, this one minus the we just extract this uh, public factor put it here. Then we get something like this. So now we can continue this uh, deduction here. We can move this term to the left side. So we will get EAT minus MAT equals PFR times PFST minus MAT. Continue. Now we can uh, divide this term from both sides. Then we will get this PFR. Eh? So the PFR equals that EAT minus MAT divided by AP FST minus MAT. So this is a formula we need to 
to find the page for rate. So we can substitute the number into this formula to get the PF uh, equals the EAT we suppose to achieve 300 nanoseconds minus MAT is 200 nanoseconds APFSR is uh, here is this one since we didn't change it so we still have that value actually that uh, MAT we didn't change it we just choose MAT so I think uh, we can just type this uh, stuff inside MAT divided by a APFST minus MAT. We just uh, write like this, then PF will show up. Now you see this number is uh, quite small, right? Here you see this uh, scientific notation, which means uh, 10 to the, the power of 10 to negative 5. Which means the page for rate need to be as small as this number to achieve an effective access time at 300 nanoseconds. I did the first question. Now, the second question. Find the number of page defaults. Not defaults, I have a typo here, sorry. Find the number of page defaults of the reference string below. We have three algorithms we, we discussed during the lecture. Pfeiffer, LRU, and OPT. Please pay attention, 5% for each algorithm. We have two cases. First case, three frames are given. Second uh, case, four frames are given. So I will demonstrate two cases uh, two algorithms in this case and one algorithm in this case. For others, you, you can uh, follow the demonstration, do it by yourself. We can use the LibreOffice Rider draw table to show the procedure. So you, you must show the procedure to get the full credit. Now let's see how many uh, references here we have. I have we have twenty here. And copy. Now how do you paste into a table? First, let's create a table. We have twenty over there. Then we can create a table. With uh, columns, we need a 21st, 20, 21 columns. How many rows do we need for three frame? We need a three plus the, plus the title, or plus this uh, reference string, so and a page fault and a page hit. So it would be 3 plus 3. It is 7 rows. Here let's type a uh, FIFO. Here is a reference string, the first row, the second the second row to oops. Here three pages, uh, three frames, right? We use this as uh, say these are the frames, three frames. Let's uh, add a color. These are frames. And here uh, we have a page hit and page fault, page fault and uh, page hit. I would like to combine them together to merge them. Page fault, the number of page fault, here's the number of page hit. 
and page fold rate PA4 page fold rate you can calculate and put it here so now we need to put the uh, reference string into this table that is a quick way you open the label of the calculator I can paste here use uh, paste special yeah, paste special. Use text import dialog. Click OK. Here I want to separate with a common. Right? Now you see this uh, random string. They are paste here. But they are quite wide. You can change the column width. Format column width, optimal width. Click OK. Now you you can. Now we can uh, copy this. Row Ctrl C. Then go back to our Libra Office Writer. Ctrl V. Press uh, click here. Then press Ctrl V. Now you see uh, this. Uh, Reference string is put here. Okay, for FIFA, first in, first out, which means when we want to replace a page, we replace that uh, first one. So now let's, uh, we have three frames, right? Now every column is a snapshot, is a snapshot. So when for page four, this uh, reference four comes. We need to load into the frame. So four. Now when two comes, we need to load into the next one. Two, and one, third one. When two comes, we take a snapshot. So four is you just copy those stuff, right? Four and two, copy them. So this is a beginning case. Uh, let's. Uh, center these numbers okay now when f 7 comes which one we, we want to replace we want to replace the first uh, one right this is the first one we first uh, load this one so the first one let's use a highlight and use a highlight for example uh, because a page hit we can highlight it as uh, light orange now, when 7 comes, we need to replace 4. So 4 is replaced. So we put here, then 2, then 1. We just uh, copy them. Right? Now, which one is the oldest? 2 will be the oldest. Right? So we can highlight 2. Then 9 comes. You see 9 is not inside here. We need to replace which one? Replace 2. So 9 will replace 2. But right here, others just copy it. Seven and one. Now one is the is the oldest. Now eight, eight comes. Eight is not inside of these uh, frames. The snapshot. So eight will replace one. Others you just copy it. And nine here. Now we know. This one is the oldest now, right? Seven is the oldest. So then three comes, it will replace this is seven. So seven will be replaced by three. And first in, first out. Now three others just copy it. Nine and eight. And we know nine now is the oldest one when file comes we replace the oldest one because the file is not inside this one uh, the, the frames here file three and eight now this time we know eight is the oldest one now two comes two need, need to replace this uh, 
oldest one eight, so others just copy it. Three and file, and we know this three is the uh, oldest one now. Six comes. Six replace the oldest one. Is three replace three? We get six. Others just copy it. Two now. What's the next one? Oldest is five, right? Five is the oldest. So when eight comes, you replace the oldest one. Five will be replaced by eight. Others just copy it. Six and two. Now we know two is the oldest one, right? Here one is not inside this snapshot. In in. Not inside the frame, so one will replace two. Others just copy it here. Please pay attention which one is the oldest. Zero will replace that and six, eight, and one. Now eight is the oldest. Then seven comes, seven replace eight. One is the oldest. Two comes to replace one. And we follow the water, we know this zero is the oldest now. Now four comes, four replace uh, zero. Seven, two. Now the next uh, oldest, seven. One comes, one will replace seven. Now the oldest one is two. Three comes, we replace two. The oldest one is four. Then five comes, we replace four. Others just copy it. Now the oldest one is one. Eight comes, eight replace one. Replace the oldest one. Five. And uh, three. Just copy others. Now which one is the oldest one? Three will become the oldest one. Okay, how many page force do we have? Page force means or page replacement or page loading. Right? You see, uh, every page comes, we need to load it. So, which means the page for rate is uh, at each uh, coming, we have a page for it. Totally, we have 20, right? Here we have, have 20 of them. So, the page for is 20. And the page hit is 0. The page for rate is 20 divided by the total number of memory references is 20 divided by 20 is 100 percent there's a page fold rate is 100 percent in this case you see Firefox is not good and you can check the answer here 2.1 page 4 number page 4 is 20 Right now I demonstrate uh, another algorithm, this L or U. And that OPT I will demonstrate with the file frames. The procedure are identical, so you three frames or file frames does not matter, you know how to do it. I just copy this table and you see now we want to try L or U. The least recently used. We paste them here and delete all these things. And 
chose uh, no field. Here are your list uh, recently used. We need to look into the history. So, but the first three, you see, they are identical because we have three frames. We don't, we don't need a replacement, right? So it will be the same. Four, two, four, two, one. One comes reloaded in the in this uh, frame. Each column is a snapshot. So I just uh, emphasize again. Now seven comes. Which one we need to replace? We look into the history. What is L R? Look into the history. Which one in this uh, snapshot? Which page is uh, in the furthest uh, history? Who is in the furthest history? Right. Since E4 is in the first history, we will replace 4. So we can, uh, let's uh, also use a uh, highlight. So 4 replaced by 7. Others just copy. Now 9 comes, which one we will replace? Here, 7 to 1, which one into the history? Which one is the furthest? 2 is the furthest, right? Two is the furthest, so we replace two. So two will be replaced by nine. Here is a seven, and here is one. Then eight comes. Eight comes. Which one we want to replace? Again, you check. One is the furthest, right? Furthest from eight. So we will replace uh, this one. Replace with eight. Others just copy. Three comes. The first is one is seven now. Huh? We replace seven with by three. Your file again check these three which one the first is one nine is first. Furthest into the history, so replaced with the new the new comma. Then two comes. This is three file eight. The first one is eight. So we replace eight. Six comes. Again, you check this pages. Three is the first one, so three will be replaced by six. Now eight comes. Again, you check. You see, five is the first one, so five will be replaced by eight. Then one comes. You see, two is the first one. Six and eight, and zero comes. You see, six is the first one. So it will be replaced by the newcomer. Now seven comes. Here. You see, uh, eight is the uh, furthest one. So eight will be replaced by seven. Two comes. It will replace uh, one. Right? One is the furthest one. Zero and seven. Then four comes. It will replace zero. The first one. One comes. Seven is the first one. Now that's just a copy. Three comes. Now two is the first one.
Sparrow comes. Four is the first one. Four will be replaced by five. Now eight comes, so one will be replaced. Now you see, uh, now after that, three is the furthest one. Here, when you compare these two cases, they look identical, right? But please uh, pay attention because these uh, references may may have uh, duplicates. If, for example, you exercise a page again, and again, then you will get a different result. Not necessarily the same because the way. We replace the algorithm. We replace the pages are different, but it's uh, just accidentally for this uh, reference string we get the same result. So we have the same page for number number page four twenty number page hit zero page four rate one hundred percent. Again, you can check this uh, answer to for for comparison the twenty noun. <coughs> you see, opt is uh, 16. Now you need to do this one by yourself. For this uh, file frames, I will demonstrate this opt. And uh, for file frames, this FIFA and LAO, you, you need to do it by yourself. Okay, I'll copy this table. Here, OPT optimized uh, page replacement. Again, I clear this stuff. And unfair, no fear. Then I need to add two columns because we have file frames now. Insert uh, two rows. Insert two rows. Okay, we have five frames now. We need to load these uh, pages into this frame. Each column is snapshot. You see the first file you just uh, fit in like uh, before. Four, two, one, seven, nine. Others you just copy it. For example, these are four. Here they should be all. Because we take a snapshot, right? Two, 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 one, one, seven. Now all these frames. Or four, a new camera. We need to replace one of them to find one of them. For OPT, we look into the future. Look into the future to see this, which one is the furthest one into the future. Here, four you see is here, two is here, one is here, and the seven is here, and the nine. You didn't see nine in this place, right? You didn't see nine in the place, which means a nine is the furthest one in the future. Is the first one into the future? Again, we we want to highlight this stuff. So now nine will be replaced by eight. Others just copy and paste. I would like to use this way: Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now, three comes, which one we want to replace? Again, you check this one is the first step into the future. Here, eight is here, two is here. Which one is the first one? One is here, you see seven. No, four. Right? Four is the first one. First one. 
Here four is the first one. So please uh, do it together with me. Four is the first one. Then we replace four with three. Others we just copy it. File comes. Check this again into the future to see which one is the furthest one. Here three is here. Two here. One here. Seven here. Eight here. So which one is the furthest one? Anyone with me? Which one is the furthest one? And the three is the furthest one, right? Here's three. The three. Because uh, you see uh, two is here, one is here, seven is here, and eight is here. So this three is the furthest one. So we can highlight three. Then three will be replaced by file. Others just copy and paste. Paste here. Now two comes. When two comes, you see two is already inside. Now we get a page uh, hit. In this case, we can use a green to represent a page hit. Maybe use a light green. So we get a hit here, now page hit here, seven or six, six comes, which one we want to replace. Again, we look into the future to see which one is the first one. Two is there, one is there, file, you see file is this place. Seven is here, eight is here, so it looks like uh, that file is the first one, right? The file is here. File is the first one. For two and one and seven and eight, they are all closer than this file. So, which means file is the first one. So, we will replace this file. The file will be replaced. So, file replaced with uh, this six. Others we just uh, copy it. Okay, now eight comes. Eight comes. We want to replace this uh, one of them. Again, find which one is the first into the future. Here you see six does not show up. In this list, two is here, one is here, seven is here, eight is here. So it looks six is the furthest one. So we will replace six with uh, eight. Oops, my, my bad. Eight, we want to have eight, right? Here, eight, we want to have eight. So we have a uh, Page hit. So eight here we will have it. So we have a page hit. Now for this one, one we also have it. So we also have another page hit. Zero? No. Now zero is not inside this uh, column. So which one we want to replace? Which one do we want to replace? We check then which one is the first step into the future. Six, right? So we replace six by zero. Now on seven, we get another hit. Two, another hit. Four, no, 
Now we need to replace one of them to see which one is the furthest one in this part. One, three, five, eight. Maybe I made a mistake because in the heat part, we'd better copy those uh, pages and put inside. So we'd better copy these things. Otherwise, it's easy to make make a mistake. All right, now four comes is not inside the frame, so we need to replace one of them. We check all these things. Here you see zero is not inside the future, so we can replace zero. Also, seven is not inside the future. We can also replace seven. Now we have two ways which one we want to replace. It's uh, up to you, which means actually we have several solutions for this uh, problem. So here I would like to replace uh, and also right, 2 and uh, 0 is not in, in the future. So we have three ways to replace 0 or 1 or 7. So let, let's replace this 0. So you can replace 1 or 7, it's up to you. So I would like to replace 0 with 4. Oops. Others just copy it. Now 1 comes. Which one you want to replace? Here we have a hit. We have a page hit. Then we just copy and paste. Can you see? Can you read? 3. Now for 3. We need to replace one of them, and you see we have several options, 4 or 2 or 7. So let's replace 4. Now file comes, you can replace uh, Three or two or one or seven. It's up to you. So I will have to replace three. Eight. We have a hit because it's already inside. We have a page hit. Okay, this is a uh, OPT. Now you can count the number of hit and the number of page fault. Here's the hit. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven page hit. Seven page hit. Oops, here I made a mistake. Yeah, that's it. Save it, left zero eight. This one is a page replacement algorithm. Now for page hit, we have seven, so which means page four, we have tw 20 minus seven is uh, 13, right? Or well, you just count it. You can check this uh, answer of T certain. The page fault, page hit is seven. Then the page fault rate is thirteen divided by twenty. So how much is this? Thirteen divided by twenty sixty five percent. Let's save it.
Okay, now for this file frames. For other two algorithms, this five and error, you, you can do it by yourself. Now let's have a summary for these three algorithms. For the first in, first come, you just replace that uh, first loaded into the frame one. Right, replace that one when a uh, new one comes. For the error or you, you look into the past and find that the furthest one from your local, your current location. And uh, this OPT, you look into the future from your current location to see which one currently inside the frame they are furthest into the future. So. But you need to pay attention if they occurred several times. For example, these two, here you, you also have two. So two is the closest to file. You cannot use this two. We need to find that the first one does not uh, occur before it. Any questions about these three algorithms? Okay, if there is no questions, let's move to uh, question three. In question three, this page table shown below is for a system with 16-bit virtual and physical addresses with uh, the size, this size pages. Uh, each page is this size, which means 4 kilobyte. And the reference bit is set to 1 when the page has been uh, referenced periodically. Uh, thread zeros out all values of the reference bit. A dash for a page frame indicates the page is not in memory. Here, here a dash here. And the page replacement algorithm is a localized error here. And all numbers are provided in decimal. So what does this uh, localized error here mean? This procedure here, this pr procedure is an uh, error here, as we discussed uh, during the lecture. And all numbers are provided in decimal here. Let's uh, check the several sub-questions. Sub-question one, convert the following virtual address in hexadecimal to the equivalent of physical addresses. Provide answers in hexadecimal and set the reference bit for the appropriate inch in the page table. Here are the page numbers, here are the frames, which means, for example, this column means this page 0 is loaded in frame 9. The reference bits, they are 0. If uh, we have a reference to this address, then we need to change that reference bit to 1. Currently, they are all 0. Here's a reference bit. This is what the localized LRU does. How do we convert a uh, virtual address to a physical address? We use this formula. Right? We know the page size. It's totally uh, useless. The address is 60. 16 bit, so 12 bit for the page size. So we only have four bits left for the page numbers, for the frame numbers. Four bit, two to the four is 16. So you see here we have 16 page numbers, also we have 16 frame numbers. 
and the page size equals the frame size. And the logical address, you have practiced this stuff in our previous uh, lab. Now use the bar addresses as a guide, provide an example of a logical address that results in a page fault. The third sub-question, from what site of uh, page frames will the error or your page replacement algorithm choose in resolving a page fault? Uh, let's do it one by one. First, uh, let's uh, convert this address to uh, from logical address to physical uh, address. So I just demonstrate one, so the others you can do it by yourself. Once you're done, you can check your solution against the reference solution. So logical address, physical address, reference bit, we set one page fault. Do we get a page fault? If that page is not in the frame, then we will get a page fault. Otherwise, we will get get a page fault, right? So for example, this last one, First, we find the page number. How do we do that? 0x, a, c, a, 1. To find the page number, we use integer divide. Divide this logical address by the page size. The page size is 4096. Right? This is page size. Now you get the page number is 10. And it's offset. It's offset. We use this modulus. as a modulus is offset is three two three three this is offset now for page number 10 here page number 10 is already loaded in frame file right is already loaded in frame file so which means uh, there is no page fault we know the frame number is file then we convert it to physical address physical address is a file times the frame size frame size equals the page size is 4096 and plus the offset 3233 so we get this uh, number now this is a decimal number for the address you are asked to provide as a hex number you need to convert this one to hex number so we can use this hex function two three seven one three right you get a zero x file c a one here zero x file c a one now you need to set the reference bit here this one you need to change this one to one set the reference bit to one so how do you do your Write you into your report. You need to draw a table. Draw the table in your report. Then you can change that bit here. For example, this one, the reference bit to one in that table. So you must contain a table in your report to report this part. Otherwise, how do you uh, represent that uh, reference bit? Okay, for other four, you can calculate by yourself. That is a quick way you can define a function to do the conversion. Here's a quick way we define a function virtual address to physical address. And given your virtual address, Now we need to return of this uh, uh, it's not easy to do it we, we we can do it because we need to check the table with if you want to create a function which you still need to look up the the table. 
and let's uh, forget about this. Certainly, you, for those students who are familiar with uh, Python, you can create a table. Okay, now you are asked to provide an example of logical address in hexadecimal that results in a page fault. A page fault, which means that page is not in a uh, frame, right? Then if you uh, address from that page, it could result in a page fault. You can check page 4, 12, 13, they are not loaded. So, which means any address from page 4, page 12, page 13 will result in a page fault. Let's take a page 12. Now, if you use page 12, you can find all those addresses in page 12. For each page, we, we have uh, 4096 uh, different addresses, right? That address for page 12, it would be a page number times the page size for zero nine six. This is the starting address of that page. And its end address. Its end address would be uh, the starting address tail times four zero nine six plus four zero nine file. 409 file is the last address, right? 409 file. This is the last address in this uh, page 12. This is the page size minus 1 because you start from 0. Here you can consider this is 12 times 4096 plus 0. In, since you start from 0, that's why you end at 409 file. So any address is between these two numbers will result in a page fault. Just take a page 12 as an example. Certainly you can take take an example from page 13 or page 4 with this uh, same method. So this one we get a uh, two number, we can convert those two numbers into a hex number. So we can use a, the hex function here. apply a hex function here. Then you get this start address and end address. Any address including this start address and end address that will result in a page fault. So you can check the explanation 3.2. Here you take a page 4 as an example. Here you will first get the starting address the starting address is this one, the last address is this one, so any address including the starting address and the last address will result in a page fault. But you need to pay attention, a single logical address from a unloaded page is referred. Then this page will be loaded after the operating system handled this page fault successfully. So successive logical address from this page will not result in page faults unless it's uh, replaced by another page. But in this toy example, the number of pages and the number of frames, they are identical, which means uh, we can load all the pages into the frames. Now for this uh, last uh, sub-questions, from what set of page frames will the add or your page replacement algorithm choose? in resolving a page fault. Certainly we would like to cho choose these uh, three frames first, right? And you see uh, here, once we choose all of them to load page 4 and of 12 and 13, then no more page fault will happen. So again, you can check uh, the explanation here. So please read it uh, carefully. Now for the next question, 
find the number of pages allocated to the following three processes with proportional allocation from 100 pages. Proportional allocation means we allocate the number of pages to these processes sizes proportional to their sizes. Right? The larger you will get more pages, the smaller you get fewer pages. And suppose uh, left pages are kept as free pages. So based on the concept of this propor proportional allocation, you got two hints. The ratio between memory A, B, C equals their size ratio. And uh, the map pages allocated to these three processes, they cannot exceed, their sum cannot exceed the total number of pages, right? They must less than and equal the total number of pages. So now, how do we calculate the ratio? Here, 20, 30, 50, so their ratio will be 2, 2, 3, 2, 5. Now you allocate 100 pages to them. How do you do that? You can use 100 divided by. Here the uh, rich number, rich number is 2, 3, 5. The summation of the rich number, plus 3, plus 5. Then you will get 10, right? You get 10. Now you can use 10 times the ratio number. So you will get 10 times 2 is 20, times 3 is 30, times 5 is 50, which means we allocate 20 pages to process A, 30 pages to process B, and uh, f 50 pages to process C. So this uh, looks quite easy, and we have no free memory left. Right? It's just an accident. Uh, we just allocate all these pages to all these processes. Now suppose if our processes uh, size is uh, 20, 30, and 40, how do we allocate these 100 pages? So again, we find the, the ratio number is 2, 3, and 4. Right? The ratio number is 2, 3, and 4. Here we, we add a comment because we don't need it. Then first you need to divide this 100 page by those ratio, the sum of the ratio number to find each the number of pages for one ratio number or one ratio point. So 2 plus 3 plus 4, how many we, we get, we divide uh, the summation of those uh, ratio numbers. We get 11.111. So in this case, we, we are round uh, down, which means just take 11. So which means for the first process, we will allocate 11 times 2, which means it's 22. And the second process is uh, 11 times 3, is 33 and the uh, last one is uh, 11 times 4 is 44. Now, how many pages do we still left? Is 100 minus the page allocated, right? The page we allocate 22, 33, 44. Then we still left one free page. So just suppose, suppose the process size for A is 20 kilobyte, B is 30 kilobyte, C is 40 kilobyte. In this case, you will have one free page. But in the case, this graph here, we don't have free pages. Okay, this is uh, question four. In your report, you need to show your procedure, how do you get the result?
as we have emphasized this many times. Now for question 5. Read and write. So we just read this uh, online article and then write a summary about this requirement. For example, the first one, write a summary about the advantages and disadvantages of virtual memory and the steps that operating system used to handle page fault. We discussed all this stuff during the lecture. Uh, threshing, there is this article threshing, write a summary about the causes and the solutions of threshing. The last one, there is this article, blade is anomaly, and write a summary about whether blade is anomaly happens in these three algorithms, FIFO, OPTI, or L, L or L. So you can find, find this just in these articles. You can also find further information in the reference textbook, the operating system concept, the ninth edition or the tenth edition. You can right click and uh, find the further information. Okay, this is uh, lab 08.